good day everyone. Uh, this is Professor Roger Flores, Associate Professor 4 of the Department of uh, Electrical Engineering of Central Mindanao University. So today we are going to continue our discussion with, to, with our subject E67. This is entitled, uh, or our E67 is Electrical System Design. And um, uh, chapter 2 here is uh, Wiring and uh, Protections. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the title of our chapter, chapter 2, is uh, the wiring and uh, protection. To start with, uh, we have this content. No? So, use an identification of grounded conductors, brand circuits, feeders, uh, brand circuit feeders, and service calculations. We have uh, outside branch circuits and feeders, services, over current protections, a grounding and bonding, and surge arresters over 1000 volts. And then we have to discuss also our uh, transient voltage surge for uh, suppressors and uh, protection against uh, lightning. Uh, by the way, before we will start properly with this chapter 2, just to remind you that the reference of our discussion here is uh, the Philippine Electrical Code uh, edition 2017. Okay, so um, that is the Bible of our profession, uh, the electrical engineering in the Philippines. Okay, so we have here Article 2.0 that is uh, entitled uh, Use and Identification of Grounded Conductors. Mm -hmm. We have here grounded conductor is a system or circuit conductor that is intentionally grounded. Uh, okay, so uh, it is uh, really intentionally or there is a, an intentional grounding or connection to the ground. Okay, so as illustrated here, we have the, uh, of course, we have this utility box or this is a box. So we have several conductors inside the box. So that we will be able to identify and um, know, know the uh, grounding or the grounded conductor, then uh, we have to indicate here uh, this uh, conductor which, okay, so we have this uh, conductor which we have this uh, white or gray tape or paint. No? So we have this one here. Okay, so that is to identify so that uh, we will know, especially uh, as for this example here, that they are all uh, the conductors are all uh, insulated black. No, so it's very hard to identify what is uh, where is the uh, grounded wire here or conductor. So we should have to uh, make an identification. Then uh, it is either a gray tape or a uh, white tape or paint no okay so um, we have means of identifying grounded uh, conductors okay so for sizes uh, 14 uh, mm squared or smaller as our grounded conductor or conductor which uh, we use as our grounding system then uh, we have some identification or specifications here Okay, so um, um, this uh, sizes or size 14 below or size 14 mm squared below or, or smaller than that uh, shall be identified for, by a continuous white or gray after finished or by uh, three continuous white strips okay, or white uh, stripes no? on, other, on other than green insulation along its uh, entire uh, length. Okay, so if uh, we have a green conductor, green insulated conductor, then uh, we are going to use that green insulated. But if none, then uh, we have to use these white stripes. Okay, so insulated grounded conductor shall be identified as follows. Mineral insulated metal sheeted uh, or metal sheeted cable shall be identified at that time of installation. So during installation, we have to identify this one but uh, so that... Uh, uh, it we will make us uh, easier to connect or tap later on. Okay, 
So instead, uh, we need to have these distinctive markings at its uh, terminations. Termination meaning in the uh, end, you know, where we are going to tap our connections. Okay, so uh, in, uh, a single conductor sunlight resistant outdoor rated cable used in uh, photovoltaic uh, water uh, power systems shall be identified at the time of installation also no so we have this uh, we have this uh, cable photovoltaic cable for example if our installation is uh, the uh, solar uh, generation no installation then we, the cable that we are going to use here is a sunlight resistance of course and then we must have some distinctive uh, markings also no so um what if we have this larger than uh, 14 uh, mm squared okay shall be identified also by one of the following if the size of the grounded conductor is more than 14 mm squared okay so continuous white or gray outer finish also then three continuous white stripes along its entire length or other than green insulation or a distinctive white or gray make marking or at its terminations this marking shall encircle the conductor or insulations. So, what if we have also these flexible cords for our grounding system? Okay, so insulated conductor that is intended for use as grounded conductor shall be identified also by white or gray outer finished. Okay, so uh, grounded conductors of different system. So, we have different type of grounding conductors. So, we have this identification. So, one system grounded conductor shall have an outer covering. Okay, the grounded conductors of other systems shall, uh, shall have a different outer covering or by an outer covering of white or gray or readily distinguishable color stripes. Okay, other than green running along the insulation. So, meaning to see class that uh, you can use other color but uh, it should be uh, colored stripe other than green if we will be using other than green so insulation so it should be uh, it should have a, a distinguishable colored stripes okay this means of identification shall be permanently posted at its branch circuit in panel board so meaning to say so that uh, there will be no problem later especially during maintenance or repair then we should have to uh, uh, post the the marks in the panel board so that you will know oh, what is the grounding system what is the color or whatever now what what are our markings to uh, to to determine our uh, grounded conductor so we should have to post it in a panel board permanently so that uh, we will know or the maintenance will know or what where is the uh, grounded conductor okay so uh, Grounded conductor of multi-conductor cables. So, for example, if we have an installation having a multi-conductor cables, then uh, we should have this uh, identification also. Shall be identified by a continuous white or gray outer finish or by three continuous white stripes also, other than green insulation along the entire. So, as you can see here as our illustration, we have here the our install, install, our uh, in our installation having uh, several colors of a con conductor, several conductors or multi-conductors. No? So, uh, green here is not used for grounding system. But of course, to identify, to determine where is the grounding system or grounding conductor, then we should have to use these uh, stripes again, no? white stripes. Okay, so talking about receptacles, plugs, and uh, connectors. So shall have um, shall have the terminal intended for connection to the grounded conductor and uh, grounded conductor uh, identified as follows. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, identification also for uh, the receptacles, plugs, and connectors. No? identification shall have shall be by a metal or or metal coating okay that is substantially white in color or by the word white or the letter w so meaning to say that uh, 
if it is a receptacle, if it is a plug or connectors, then you should have to indicate because it's very hard to find white color or green color or whatever striped colors. So if you will be using this, um, if you will be using uh, these uh, receptacles, plugs, and connectors, so we, it is better to uh, mark it uh, the word white, for example, or just a letter W to indicate to identify that it is our grounded sys, uh, grounded conductors. If the terminal is not visible, for example, the conductor entrance hole for the connection shall be colored white or marked with the word white or letter W. So meaning to say, if uh, if it is just a hole, it is just an entrance, no? it is an, an entrance hole, then mark it uh, with uh, uh, colored it white or mark it the word, uh, complete word white or just uh, letter W. Okay, uh, identification for of terminals, no? um, for the grounded conductors for uh, different uh, terminals. Then, uh, example, if we will have these uh, screw shells, okay, so for devices with screw shells, the terminal for the grounded conductor shall be the one connected to the screw shell. So it's uh, clear that uh, in the, uh, if we will be using a screw or screw shell, then uh, the uh, screw will will be your connecting uh, device no? to connect the conductor and the shell so we have uh, we are going to use this screw so um, for screw shell device with attached leads the conductor attached to the uh, screw shell shall have a white or gray finish also so same, same thing no so uh, the screw will be uh, identified also no so the outer finish of the other conductor shall be of a solid color that will not be confused with the white or gray finish used to identify the grounded conductor talking about uh, appliances have a single pull switch or single pull over current device in the line or any line connected screw shell lamp, lamp holders and that are to be connected by Permanent wiring method or failed installed uh, attachment plugs or cords with three or more wires okay, shall have means identify the terminal for the grounded circuit uh, conductor. Okay, so for polarity, okay, talking about this polarity, okay, um, no grounded conductor shall be attached to any terminal or lead so as to reverse the dis designated polarity. So that is very clear that uh, um, no conductor, no grounded conductor shall be attached to any terminal or lead so as to reverse the designated polarity. So that is very clear. Okay, so next we have to, to discuss uh, Article 2.10. It is titled the uh, Brands Circuit. So to proceed, the scope of this uh, 2.10 covers or uh, yes uh, 2.10 covers branch circuits except the branch circuit of the motor loads because as we know that uh, our motor loads must have a separate uh, branch circuit okay so provisions of this article along with uh, article 4.3 will be used for branch circuits with a uh, combination loads so this 4.10 of course uh, the provision of 4.10 also will co of course, uh, there is a connection between Article 4. Point, uh, with the Article 4.3, because uh, Article 4.3 will discuss later about uh, or 3.0 that will it will discuss about uh, the combination of different types of uh, load. Okay, so talking about rating of these branch circuits. Okay, so it recognized in this article that. Uh, the rated accordance with the maximum permitted ampere rating of the overcurrent device. Okay, so the rating of the branch circuit will always uh, uh, will always be permitted with the uh, overcurrent protective device. No? So the rating of this branch circuit having this individual uh, circuit uh, protection, we have this uh, 15 amperes, 20 amperes, 30 amperes, 40, and even uh, uh, 50 amperes okay so where conductors of higher ampacity 
are used for any reason, the amperating or seating of the specified overcurrent device shall determine the circuit rating. So again, uh, circuit rating for other than uh, as, as enumerated here, 40 and 50 and others, no? Above, above or uh, uh, what call this one? Other ratings, no? So it will be determined according to the uh, rating of the over circuit uh, device, over current circuit device. So talking about multi-wire brand circuits, so we have here Brand circuits uh, recognized by its article shall be permitted as multi-wire circuits. Okay, so uh, a multi-wire circuit shall be permitted to be considered as multiple circuits. Okay. All conductors shall originate from the same panel board or similar distribution equipment. Now, to remember this one class that uh, if you're going to combine several wirings or conductors no, and of course, uh, it will be called the multi-wire brand circuit. So, it should be originated or the power supply should be originated from the same panel board. It is not uh, the the source will not, the power source will not be taken or will not be connected or from the other panel boards, okay? Or other source in any way. So, where a multi-wire uh, brand circuit supplies more than one device or equipment on the same yoke, a means shall be provided to disconnect simultaneously all ungrounded connectors supplying those devices or equipment at the point where the brand circuit originates. Okay, so uh, meaning to say that, uh, for example, uh, if you have a device, if you have an equipment, or if you have a load which is necessary to be connected from different uh, panel boards or different sources, so what you are going to do is uh, you must have this switching circuits, no? and you must have this switching uh, uh, devices that um, will disconnect before you're going to transfer to another source. Source you have to disconnect the ungrounded uh, wires before you're going to connect it to the other source. So that is what this uh, means. So uh, talking about like you know, neutral loads, so of course. Uh, we have uh, several types of loads. First, uh, we have the line-to-line -line, uh, power, line-to-line uh, -line loads. We have the line-to-neutral. Okay, so we have, the, anyway, we have different types of loads. Okay, so multi-brand uh, circuits shall supply only uh, line-to-neutral loads. Okay, so um, we have, but anyway, we have an exceptional here or exceptions to the rule or exception number one is a multi-wire uh, brand circuit uh, that supplies only one utilization equipment. Okay, multi-wire brand circuit that supplies only one utilization equipment. So, of course, uh, it's very clear no? uh, that uh, we can use uh, multi-wire even though you have only one type of uh, load or utilization load or equipment. Exception number two, they were all ungrounded conductors of the multi-wire brand circuit are opened simultaneously by the brand circuit over current devices. Okay, so let's uh, continue to identification for brand uh, circuits. Okay, so grounded conductor. For the grounded conductor, the uh, of a brand circuit shall be identified in accordance with the means of identifying grounded conductor. So it will be in accordance with what we require a while ago about color coding or identification means, okay? So, equipment grounding conductor. The equipment grounding conductor shall be identified in accordance with the identification of equipment grounding conductor also. So, talking about ungrounded conductors, okay? This is the means of identification or the means of identification shall be permitted to be by separate color coding, marking tape, tagging or other approved means and shall be permanently posted at its brand circuit panel board or similar brand circuit distribution uh, equipment. So, meaning to say that uh, we have also some codings, no? We will have also some, uh, what we call this one, uh, markings for the ungrounded conductors. So, uh, so that we will not be able to interchange or uh, when you are going to tap, you are going to connect. 
then you will not interchange the conductor otherwise there will be an, a feel or failure or there is a what we call a short circuits on or it will results to burning if it is not uh, being uh, carefully identified the uh, these conductors so broad circuit voltage limitations okay so the nominal voltage of broad circuit shall not exceed the values permitted by occupancy limitations so when we're talking about the uh, occupancy we have this uh, we have these uh, different dwellings no? so we have this what we call as dwelling units uh, guest rooms or guest suites of hotels motels and several similar occupancies so that this is what we call as uh, dwelling units so um, the voltage shall not exceed 230 volts for this uh, specific dwelling units but uh, of course uh, if it is necessary if our dwelling units needs to have more than 230 volts then of course there will be a separate uh, uh, considerations okay so luminous for lighting fixtures we have the cord and plug connected loads so we have this uh, it is it might be uh, less than or equivalent to 1440 volt uh, amperes or that is our uh, uh, power no okay so uh, to, uh, if we have this 230 volts, we have these considerations. So circuit not uh, exceeding 230 volts nominal between conductors shall be permitted to supply the following. The terminals of lamp holders applied within their voltage ratings, ex uh, auxiliary equipment of electric discharge lamps, cord and uh, plug connected or permanently connected utilization equipment. So for 277 uh, volts to ground, okay, shall be permitted to supply the following: listed electric discharge luminaires, listed incandescent luminaires, of course luminaires itself. Then uh, they have the lamp holders, auxiliary equipment of electric discharge, cord and plug connected or permanently connected utilization. Okay, so uh, that is if we have 277, but but. Uh, uh, the common uh, voltage uh, system distribution system is uh, 230 volts uh, it is exceptional if we will be using 277 so uh, now let's continue to the receptacle outlet uh, location okay so uh, location of the receptacle outlet okay shall be located uh, in the brand circuits so for multiple brand circuits, where two or more brand circuits, uh, when two or more brand circuits uh, supply devices or equipment on the uh, same yoke, uh, means to simultaneously disconnect the ungrounded conductor supplying this device shall be provided at the point at which the brand circuits originates. Okay, so it's where where these brand circuits or originates. So of course, specifically. Uh, you can uh, the 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 uh, source okay this means to say that it is the power source or the voltage source that is your panel board so that is what we mean by branch circuits originates okay so here let us discuss about the uh, GFCI for protection for personnel so ground fault circuit interrupter okay so as illustrated here in our uh, picture we have here the uh, picture of a GFCI no so to any dwelling units uh, all 125 volt and or 250 volt single phase 15 and or 20 amperes receptacles shall have ground fault circuit interrupter to protect our uh, personnel no so uh, especially in bathrooms, okay, because that is um, wet area, no? bathrooms, garage, and any other part of the building, uh, which is, of course, habitable, and then uh, especially if it is in, in a wet, wet areas. Okay, so dwelling units, outdoors, crawl species, 
a crawl species which is uh, below the ground uh, grid level. So the ground level, the um, the basements, undergrounds, and so on. Okay. So unfinished basements. So we have that one in kitchens. Okay. So laundry area, utility and wet bar sinks. No? So these are especially suggested that we are going to implement ground fault circuit interrupter. Okay, outlet or uh, receptacles in which installed within 1800 of the outside edge of the sink both houses okay so other than dwelling units okay with this voltage single phase 50 and 20 amperes receptacles installed in the location and one through five uh, uh, shall have ground fault circuit interrupter that's all protection so uh, rooftops no so you can uh, install the uh, in the rooftops uh, in outdoors so we have to uh, implement the uh, GFCI to protect our user so in the boat hoists ground fault uh, interrupter protection for personnel shall be provided for outlets that uh, supply both hoists uh, installed in dwelling unit location supplied by 125 or 250 or uh, 15 and uh, 20 and or 20 ampere brand circuits. Okay, so we have here the uh, circuit derived from auto transformers unless the circuit supplied has a grounded conductors. Okay, that is electrically connected. So this is a circuit. Uh, shown here uh, for these auto transformers and we know that this auto transformer is uh, a transformer having a direct connections uh, okay, of course there is a uh, ratio okay of the number of conductors in a coil okay so that is your transformer so now let's uh, proceed to brand circuits required or what are the required uh, brand circuits or where when we are going to require brand circuits okay brand circuits are for lighting and for appliance including motor operated appliances shall be provided to supply the loads okay number of brand circuits so the minimum number of brand circuits shall be determined from the total calculated load and the size of ratings with the circuit used so meaning to say we have to identify first the load or we are going to specify the uh, expected uh, load uh, of that a certain floor area then we are going to determine how much is our expected or estimated load and then you have to uh, determine our number of the brand circuits okay so small appliance brand circuits okay we have we need a brand circuit no, for a small appliance and what is this small appliance okay so in addition to the number of uh, brand circuits required by other parts of the section, two or more 20 ampere small appliance brand circuits shall be provided for all receptacles outlets. Okay, so take note this one that the minimum uh, rating of our brand circuit for small appliance is 20. Do not use uh, 15 amperes. Okay, that is for our small appliance. Two or more you can implement in a dwelling units. For laundry brand circuits, so um, we have in addition also for laundry, okay, so for washing area for example, then we need to have another at least one additional 20 ampere brand circuits. Okay, so for bathroom brand circuits, we need to have also another 120 ampere, but of course as we can remember, it should be a GFCI. So that we'll be able to interrupt whenever there is a surge current that might uh, that might injure our uh, user. No, so we have we have another uh, an additional uh, brand circuit for the bathroom areas. Okay. So arc fault circuit interrupter protection. So another uh, device that will protect our uh, user is this arc fault okay so it is not uh, specifically you know to differentiate between ground fault is that is an extra surge 
due to grounding or ground uh, ground fault or errors no so this time this is due to arc flash uh, arc flash no so device intended to provide protect from the effects of arc faults by recognizing characteristics unique to arcing and by functioning to the energize the circuit when an arc fault is detected so this uh, protection will help where uh, of course will function whenever there is the arcing to protect the user or the personnel around okay and dwelling units bedrooms uh, dwelling unit bedrooms so we have to install this uh, arc fault circuit interrupter okay so but also we have exceptions here exception a the arc fault circuit interrupter installed within 1,800 millimeter of the branch circuit or 1.8 uh, meter of the branch circuit uh, over current device as measured along the branch circuit conductors. So the branch circuit conductors between the branch circuit over current device and the arc fault circuit interrupter shall be installed in a metal raceway. So okay, so it is uh, okay. So uh, it should be installed using this metal raceway or metallic sheath cable. So if, if we cannot uh, employ uh, metal raceway, then you can use a metal cable, a metallic uh, sheeted cable. And also, um, when gistrums, if having these gistrums and uh, gist uh, suites, no? in gistrums and gist suites that are provided with permanent provisions for cooking shall have brand circuits and outlets installed to meet the rules for dwelling units okay so um, um it is understood that uh, we have a separate or we must have to employ also implementing uh, provisions permanent provisions for cooking uh, cooking areas in guest rooms because it is understood that uh, in guest uh, suites in hotels motels or other uh, um, other uh, establishments we need to have to have to implement uh, cooking uh, facilities in the room so we have to implement these uh, provisions so of course we will not forget uh, the specifications for uh, the different receptacles outlets or ratings of the burn circuits if you have this uh, kind of uh, area or dwelling so burn circuit ratings conductor so minimum capacity of size burn circuits not more than 600 volts so 230, 277, uh, 480, but uh, of course it is not more than uh, uh, 600 volts. We have this brand circuit conductor shall have an opacity, not less than the maximum loop to be served. So the uh, brand circuit rating should uh, or conductor should not be less than the uh, uh, the uh, maximum load. Otherwise, it will burn out. It will create a fault where a branch circuit supplies continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads. Okay, this continuous loads, uh, we will discuss this later. Now, uh, we have some uh, 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 considerations. Okay, what is the qualifications to become a continuous load? We will discuss that one later. Okay, but of course, just to give you an idea, one of these continuous load uh, um, or, or uh, consider as continuous load is this uh, air conditioning okay so this uh, refrigerations and others no so these are some of the uh, considered as continuous load the minimum brand circuit conductor size before the application of any adjustments or correction factors shall have an allowable opacity not less than the continuous load plus 125 percent of the continuous load okay so for example, if the rating of our aircon is uh, 2,000, um, uh, 2000 amperes, then you have to add this 2,000 amperes by, oh, it's very big, anyway, so uh, by 120%, 25% of that rating, okay? So we have an illustr illustration here, okay? So we have this uh, continuous load of 4 amperes, we have uh, four, so we have a total of 16. So what will be our current here? So we have this uh, uh, 16 amperes times 125%. So more or less that is 20 amperes. 
that is the rating of our broad circuits and it should not be less than that of this uh, 20 ampere uh, um, or this uh, 20 ampere over current devices will not be less than that of this current okay so conductors minimum opacity no okay so anyway this is just a continuation for not more than 600 volts household ranges and cooking appliances okay so um, because actually class in a household uh, range and any other uh, cooking appliances are the biggest uh, or the biggest uh, load in a household no so we should have to consider this one the brand circuit conductor supplying household ranges wall mounted ovens counter mounted cooking units and other household cooking appliances shall have an opacity not less than uh, the maximum load to be served for ranges of 8, uh, to eight and uh, 3 port kilowatt or more rating the minimum brand circuit rating shall be 40 amperes okay so it's very clear that for any cooking especially uh, uh, electric uh, rings or electric, electric ranges your minimum uh, rating of your brand circuit is not less than 40 ampere okay so uh, another thing other loads um, not more than for not more than uh, 600 volts okay brand circuit connectors that supply loads other than cooking appliance shall have an opacity sufficient for the load serve and shall not be smaller than 2.0 mm squared or 1.6 millimeter diameter okay so uh meaning to say that if you have other loads smaller and uh so it should not be less uh, smaller than 2.0 mm squared that we are going to use as our uh, rating okay so what if we have a brand circuits over 600 volts 600 uh, 800 or uh, 1000 volts no so the opacity of branch circuit uh, conductor shall not be less than 125 percent of the design potential or load of utilization so you must have to uh, uh, what we call this one consider that it should uh, the, the the rating the opacity rating of your uh, spurn circuit should not be less than 125% of the uh, expected or computed or estimated load. Okay, so brand circuit ratings. Continuous and non-continuous load. The rating of the overcurrent device shall not be less than the non-continuous load plus 125%. For conductor protection, so of course uh, it should be protected it shall be protected conductor shall be protected it is either flexible cords or uh, fixture wire shall be protected also for the equipment the rating or seating of the overcurrent protective device shall not exceed that is specified in the applicable articles referred to for this equipment we can uh, go we can uh, discuss that later in other chapter of this uh, uh, philippine electrical code so overcurrent protection for outlet devices the rating or setting shall not exceed that is specified for outlet devices for lamp holders uh, connected to branch circuit having a rating exceeds of 20 amperes lamp holders shall be of a heavy duty type okay so uh, because there will be some time that will be uh, implementing uh, more than 20 ampere lamps no that's a higher uh, load lamps okay so it should be we should be using uh, a heavy uh, heavy type of heavy duty type of this kind of lamp holders okay so shall have a rating of not less than 660 watts or if of the medium type or not less than 750 watts if uh, of any type other types of lamp holders Okay, so overcurrent protection uh, for this uh, the, uh, outlet devices for receptacle, single receptacle, and individual brand circuit. Okay, so have an ampere rating not least done of the brand circuit rating. So total cords, then you have to connect your cord in accordance with this table, not to exceed no, of the maximum specified with this table 2.10.2.3. Uh, 
paragraph B2. Okay. So, for receptacles or uh, rating, no? we are connected to brand circuit. You have to follow also, which is uh, especially if it is larger than 50 amperes. So, uh, you have to specify based on table 2.10.2.3. Okay, so we have this uh, table now. So that is mentioned. Okay, this is the circuit uh, uh, receptacle rating in amperes. Then uh, we have this circuit rating. Okay, so consider this table here to determine the rating of various uh, size of the circuits. And also, this table will determine the different uh, appliance, the cooking appliance, then with the corresponding uh, demand factor. So talking about the demand factor, this is the, we say, a little adjustments, no? Because, of course, uh, this appliance will not be used um, all the time. Okay, so there is a... A little adjustments below of this rated and it is the demand factor okay so like for example if you have this uh, electric range for example if we have only one appliance here uh, use demand factor 80% okay if it is less than three and one half kilowatt rating but if it is uh, more than three and one half uh, kilowatt uh, to uh, eight and three port uh, kilowatt rating then use uh, 1, uh, 80%. Okay, so over 12 kilowatt rating, so we have this one. So what that is the maximum demand of uh, 8%. Uh, okay, so if we have several cooking um, range, no? uh, rating, so we have this, um, you have to use, if it is uh, more than uh, 2, then you have, or if you have 2, uh, ranges then we have 75 percent okay uh, demand factor here as you can see demand factor will increase as a number of uh, or decrease decrease as the number of uh, appliance is uh, increased okay so for the 15 and 20 ampere brand circuit uh, shall be permitted to supply lighting units or other utilization or combination of both and shells comply. Uh, of course, the with cord and plug connected equipment not fastened in place shall not exceed 80% of the burn circuit amperating. So you should have to check always if uh, it is not exceeding 80% uh, of the burn circuit rating. Okay, so utilization uh, shall not exceed 50% of burn circuit. Okay. For the 30 ampere brand circuit, supplied fixed lighting uh, with heavy duty lamp holders. I mentioned this one already. And shall not exceed 80% of the brand circuit ampere rating. Okay, for 50, uh, 40 and 50, supply cooking appliance that are passing and place in any occupancy. Okay, so larger than 50 shall only non lighting outlet loads. Okay, these are more than enough, no? If it is 50, so it uh, do not use this for uh, for lighting, but it is also only used for non-lighting outlet loads. Okay, so for any common area brand circuits, so okay, dwelling units are supply only loads within that dwelling unit or loads associated with only with that dwelling unit. Okay, brand circuits. Uh, Okay, so uh, brand circuit required for the purpose of lighting central alarm, signal communications, or other needs for public or common train areas of a fa two family or multi family dwelling shall not be supplied from equipment that supplies an individual dwelling unit. Okay, so other uh, uh, use glued, which is specified here central alarm, signal communications, do not uh, use the uh, individual. Uh, dwelling unit uh, circuit okay it might affect your load okay for cord pendants uh, we can uh, supply also supplied by a permanently connected cord pendant shall be considered as a receptacle outlet okay so 
chord pendants that uh, these are the lumps that might be uh, focused downward or uh, hung hung over so uh, this is also considered as uh, permanent uh, permanently connected okay and this is considered as receptacle outlet Cord connections, so receptacle outlet shall be installed wherever flexible cords with attachments plugs are used. Okay, so what, of course, uh, flexible cords are permitted to be permanently connected. Receptacles shall be permitted to be omitted for such cords. Okay, so appliance outlet, so this is for uh, laundry, in laundry equipment, laundry areas. Installed within 1,800 millimeter of the intended locations of the appliance. Okay, so we have here dwelling unit receptacles. This is this section provides the requir requirements for 125 volt uh, or above or 15 and 20 ampere receptacle outlets. Okay, so we have the General provisions for dwelling unit receptacle outlets. Okay, so we have this receptacle outlet shall be installed in accordance with the general provisions. Take note of the spacing of this uh, receptacle outlets. No, shall be installed so that no point may show horizontally along the floor line, and any wall space is uh, more than 1,800 millimeter from a receptacle outlet. So uh, your spacing should not be more than 1,800 uh, distance from the outlet, okay? So it should be nearer or within 1,800 or 1 1.8 meter distance. Okay, so we have here four floor receptacles, okay? Uh, floor outlets and uh, receptacle outlets and floor shall not be counted as part of the required number of receptacle outlets unless located within 450 millimeter of the, uh, of the wall okay so that is the considerations we will not consider that one if it is not within no unless located within 450 millimeter of of the wall okay so small appliance in the kitchen so uh, pantry, breakfast room, dining room, similar area dwelling unit, the two or more 20 ampere with small appliance brand circuit shall serve all wall and floor receptacles outlets, all countertop outlets and receptacles for refrigeration equipment and other outlets. We have this one. Okay, so small appliance, kitchen receptacles requirements. Okay, in a kitchen, to serve countertop surfaces shall be supplied by not fewer than two small appliance brand circuits. Okay, so countertops, uh, it is uh, the common this time in any installation uh, or any construction that we have in, uh, in, in any kitchen area, we have countertops that is somewhat like a division, a table. So we have this counter and then uh, we are going to uh, uh, put the uh, hanging cabinet and so on. Then we have to establish uh, provisions for any uh, appliances or lightings maybe. Okay, so additional small appliance brand circuits shall be permitted to supply receptacles outlets in the kitchen and other rooms. Okay. Um, no small appliance brand circuits shall serve more than one kitchen. Okay, so it is understood. That if you have brand circuit for small appliance in a specific uh, kitchen, then do not use this for any any additional kitchen. If you have uh, several rooms or more kitchens in your installation or in your uh, uh, in your building, no? So talking about uh, countertops, we have this uh, uh, receptacle outlet shall be installed at, at its wall counter space that is 300 meter or wider. As a countertops, no. So receptacle outlet shall be installed so that no point along the wall is more than 600 millimeter, or island counter spaces. At least one receptacle shall be installed at each island counter spaces. If this is your, uh, if the, this is your area, you have this uh, island or uh, counter or a counter, then you have to implement at least one no uh, 
but uh, greater as short the dimensions of 300 millimeter or greater rain stop or sink is installed in island counter and the width of the counter behind the rain stop or sink is less than 300 millimeter the rain stop or sink is considered to divide the island into two separate counter top anyway that is uh, for uh, any installations or any constructions so if you have peninsular counter species at least one receptacle outlet also separate species counter top uh, species separated by ranges uh, refrigerators for example we have these counter tops here on within no in between we have these uh, rings or refrigerators so separate uh, separate uh, receptacles will be implemented okay so it'll be uh, located above but not more than 500 millimeter above the counter top in bathrooms okay i mentioned this, uh, this one already at least one receptacle outlet for bathrooms but it should be within nine millimeter outside edge of its basin it, it should not be uh, nearer to the laboratory no so it is uh, it should be away or, or more or less uh, uh, more than or more or less one meet one meter or uh, more or less not less than 900 millimeter so outdoor outlets because it is also uh, permitted to implement uh, outlets outdoor or outside, no? For a one-family dwelling, uh, residential, for example, an eight unit of a two-family dwelling that is at grid level, at least one receptacle outlet is accessible at grid level and not more than 2,000 millimeter above grid level shall be installed at the front and back of the dwelling. In other words, in front of our house or at the back of our house, we can implement at least one um, a receptacle, but it should not be more than uh, two meters from the level or the uh, ground level. No? So in laundry area also, well, we have uh, to implement at least one receptacle outlet installed specifically for laundry. So in garages and basements, we can implement also a, a receptacle outlet. Okay, at least one. Okay, so shall be installed in its basement and its attached garage and it uh, it's the uh, detached garage with uh, electric uh, power. So um, in hallways, okay, in hallways, uh, in dwelling units, hallways of three meters or more in length shall have at least one receptacle outlets. Okay, so every three meters, no, we can. Uh, we can uh, have this uh, one receptacle outlets for guest rooms okay so suites in hotels motels or similar occupancies shall have uh, receptacle outlets installed okay so permanent uh, provide also with permanent provision for cooking shall have receptacles outlets installed also for uh, the placement of the receptacles, the receptacles outlet shall be permitted to be located conveniently for permanent uh, furniture layout. At least two receptacle outlets shall be uh, readily accessible. Okay, so this is for guest rooms and uh, at least. Uh, so we have uh, receptacles are installed behind the bed shall uh, be located to prevent the bed from contacting any attachment plug that may installed or the receptacle shall be provided with a suitable guards okay so there must be a certain distance no? so so that there will be no contact between this receptacle and the bed of your guest rooms or suites okay show windows if we have show window at least one receptacle outlet shall be permitted uh, or uh, directly above or show window for its 3600 linear millimeter or 3.6 uh, meters linear meter or major fraction thereof of show window area measured horizontally at its maximum width okay so for heating air conditioning refrigeration equipment uh, we have this 125 to 250 implement 15 or 20 ampere rated receptacle okay so what else 
dwelling units, okay, for habitable rooms, um, at least one wall switch controlled lighting outlet shall be installed in every habitable room. So it's very clear. If uh, somebody is occupying that room, then we uh, we should have at least one switch controlled. Okay, so uh, you cannot share the lamps between two rooms. Okay, with uh, which only one occupant only room will uh, control that light or that lamp. So it should be individual. One at least one uh, lamps uh, switch controlled lamp or lighting for every habitable room. Okay, additional lighting uh, outlets will, shall be installed in accordance with at least one wall switch controlled lighting outlet shall be installed in hallway. At least one hallway, stairway, attached to garages and detached garages with electric power. So, even in uh, separate uh, uh, structure for garage, then at least at least one uh, lighting outlets will be implemented. Okay, For dwelling units, um, attached garages and uh, detached garages with electric power, at least one wall. Switch controlled lighting outlet shall be installed to provide illumination on the exterior part. Okay, so vehicle door in a garage shall not be considered as an out outdoor uh, entrance or out exit. Okay. For storage or equipment species, no? so attic, uh, attics, underfloor species, utility rooms, basements, and so on, then we need to have at least one point of control or uh, at least one circuit for lighting no? for these uh, installations. Okay, guest rooms for or uh, uh, guest suites in hotels, motels, or similar occupancies, guest rooms or guest suits, suites shall have at least one wall switch controlled lighting. Okay, wall, no? Okay, so for attics and floors, we have this one at least. Uh, thank you very much. That uh, ends our uh, discussion here. So um, I hope that you learn many things.